Hello my dear scientists, my name is Isis and I'm an educator performer at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science and today I'll be teaching you how to make some invisible ink. And since we've been trying to protect ourselves and our loved ones, lately we've been spending a lot of time at home and I thought it can be fun to hang out with your family. Sometimes people can be a little bit annoying, right? So if you want to vent or tell a grown-up about that sibling, cousin, or nephew, or even pet who found and ate all your quarantine snacks, like all of them. Or if you simply want to play a fun game of spice and go on ultra-secret missions, then you can use this awesome science trick to send invisible or secret messages. And as we get started, feel free to pause or rewind the video as much as you need. Are you ready? Okay, let's get started. For this experiment, we will need a lemon, or half if that's all you have, some water, and I put mine in a small container, a small bowl or a cup, like this. We will also be using a butter knife to cut the lemon, a spoon to mix everything, a measuring spoon to measure out the water, and I chose the half teaspoon one, some Q-tips, and if you want to write a decoy message, you can also use a pencil. We will also need a source of heat. In this case, I'm using a hair dryer. Or you can also use an iron or if you have one of those lamps with a 100 watt light bulb, that works as well. And last but not least, we will also need a white sheet of paper. Now that we have everything, let's start. The very first step is to cut our lemon in half. But if you have a really sharp knife or can't do it on your own, make sure to ask an adult for help. Also, if you're interested in learning more about lemons, check out our lemon dissection video. And now that we've cut our lemon, we're gonna grab one of those halves and squeeze it into our cup or bowl. And if you want to, you can get all the little seeds out and save them to plant later, but just make sure that you're getting all the juice from the lemon out. Give it a big squeeze, just like that. Perfect. Now we'll be adding half a teaspoon of water using our measuring spoon. And I'll add two half teaspoons since later I'm going to be squeezing the other half of the lemon, but you can add just one half teaspoon. And now using our spoon, we're going to mix it all together. And right after, we'll dip one side of our Q-tip into the mixture and start thinking about what kind of message we want to send or what exactly it is we want to write. But for now, go ahead and grab your sheet of paper and once you have that message clear in your head, use your invisible ink to start writing. My invisible ink has finally dried, but as you can see, the paper did get super wrinkly. So I noticed that I used way too much lemon juice on my Q-tip, but when you complete this step, make sure that you only wet your Q-tip a little bit, not soak it in that lemon juice. Otherwise, your message might not be so secret. And when you're ready to read your secret message or show it to someone else, go ahead and get your hair dryer and plug it in. Now take your hair dryer and turn it to the highest heat setting. And then we're gonna go ahead and turn it on and start heating our paper. So it turns out that my hair dryer wasn't hot enough to make the letters appear. This is actually the darkest it got. And you can kind of read the message, but not super clearly. And if the same happened to you, don't worry, because that's just part of the experiment. Sometimes things don't really work the way we plan them to, but then we just go ahead and experiment with other ways that we can make things work, right? So for, in this case, we're gonna be using other sources of heat. We talked about a few before. For example, we can use an iron, which is more direct heat right on the paper. We can also use a really hot light bulb and if that still isn't enough, we can always look for even more powerful sources of heat. But make sure that you always have adult supervision for this step as dealing with heat can be very dangerous. And in this case, I'm gonna be using a stove. So let's take a look at that. First, we'll turn our stove on to low medium heat and we can go a little bit lower or a little bit higher depending on our stove power. Then we'll wait for our burner to start heating up. 
Once it's hot, we'll place our sheet of paper one inch above the burner, making sure it doesn't actually touch the surface, otherwise it might scorch our paper. And then we're gonna move it around very carefully. And again, make sure you either have adult supervision or an adult doing the step for you. And what's super interesting about this process is that the heat from the stove is actually breaking down chemical bonds found in that lemon juice, releasing the carbon they have inside. And once this carbon is exposed to oxygen in the air, a reaction known as oxidation occurs, which is when our lemon juice or invisible ink starts to brown. But oxidation doesn't always need heat. It can also happen in fruits and veggies when they're simply exposed to air. But if you want to learn more about this cool process, make sure to watch our guacamole oxidation video. And there you have it. Now you can use your invisible ink to communicate with people in your home. And like I mentioned before, you can also write decoy messages. So in this case, I wrote the word love or what appears to be love. But once you reveal the super secret message, then it becomes stay home. And as you can see here, I actually burned the page. So just make sure you're extra careful and don't cause any fires. And if you have invisible ink left over, just add more water and then mix and a little bit of sugar and then we're gonna mix again and you got yourself a delicious lemonade and that is all so thank you all for watching i had tons of fun and hope you did too and if you're interested in doing more cool science experiments you can always check out our website which is dmns.org learn and the Denver Museum of Nature and Science would love to see what kind of cool or funny messages you come up with using our invisible ink. So make sure you tag us on social media using the hashtag DMNS Science Party, or you can always tweet us at Denver Museum NS. But stay curious, everyone.